Hello, and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Zong, or Zong, or however you want to say it, a space-capable only general. Now, if you want to see the match, just go ahead and skip forward. That's no problem. But for everybody else, this is a 550 cost space only general that goes up to 700 cost and it has a ballistic resistance of 23 a beam resistance of 38 a melee resistance of 14 a range strength of 30 a melee strength of 10 a movement speed of a very decent 135 and a thrust gauge of 70. For parts, we have close range of 9, medium of 12, and long range of 19. It is a melee priority 2 unit, and it has a number of weapons. No real options, just so you know. So, starting off, we have the 5 barrel Mega PC times 2. It's a chargeable uh, beam attack, uh, does okay damage. Both hands fire at the same time. And uh, it's not bad. It can uh, stagger either through a couple different shots or one charged one. We have for melee, we have blow enhanced. Need I say more? Uh, <laughs> um, we have wired five barrel mega PC times two flanking. It's a lot like funnels. So these will lock on, then they will fly off, go around behind a unit and fire into a unit's back doing some pretty decent damage with a pretty good amount of range we have the wired five barrel mega pc times two surround in other words this goes on the either side of a unit and shoots it will overheat but it is a little bit more likely to get some shots in depending on um, how zoomy people are the head mega particle cannon um, it's kind of like a spot gun. It fires uh, a decent amount of times. It actually seems to, as uh, you get higher up, to take less heat, but it can do some pretty decent damage. I kind of use it for uh, putting on pressure. And then we have the big boy, the Waste Mega Particle Cannon Times 2. You have to charge these. They have really good range, and they can do some pretty decent damage, and you can fire them while on the move, which is pretty dang good. For skills, we have Emergency Evasion System Level 2, Melee Combo Controller, Maneuver Armor, High Spec and Back Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, which is always nice, High Performance Radar Level 2, Anti-Blast Stabilizer, and Enhanced Tackle Level 3. Um, I'm just going to say this. As a general, it's pretty good. If uh, you get the hang of it, this thing can be obscenely obnoxious to fight against. And uh, it can be do some pretty incredible work, even at cost, where it just feels kind of outmoded, which is around 700 in my humble opinion. There are people who can do way more. They can fly it like Char himself in a way. But it's a sturdy, capable unit. It'll help you get a little bit more used to the space combat. And I give it a thumbs up as a general, a space-only general. It's worth having, and it can be quite the force multiplier on some teams. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match, everybody. Uh, we're just going to get right into uh, the action here. As uh, we go flying off in the uh, Zyong, which uh, I will fully admit as I charge these fingers up for damage. Um, I've only kind of recently uh, gorked this unit. I am not a, uh, a Zong master. But uh, I do like the idea of the unit, and I have actually been doing a lot better in space than on uh, the land maps. So, oops, I'm going to flub my... Uh, lock on but we're gonna get that one in there do a little bit of chip damage just to uh, annoy him and we see uh Cassatria down there we're gonna back off because i was worried he was gonna take a shot at me and we're gonna flub another lock on it's been a little while since i'd used the unit so eh, you know so we're gonna charge we're gonna fire into his leg do a little bit of damage get him with a, that shot there lock on drop those off Maneuver behind some cover. And we're going to charge our waist up. 
And then we're gonna bam right there in the legs that well, you know, his legs, why not? Maybe he owed big mini money, who knows? But we're gonna get into it with uh this uh, Zaku 4, uh, forget the exact title of the uh, the raid version, the Big Axe is what we'll call it. Um, I'm going to maintain my range, I'm going to throw that out there to get some damage on him, some decent numbers. Go to the uh, head mounted, fire off uh, about three shots to just keep the pressure on him. Charging the beams again, catch uh, the timing, ah, I can never remember. Now, uh, I'm not going to get a huge amount of kills because I'm going to help damage a lot of people and get them close, but I'm not going to have the, uh, the chance to finish them off. But hey, teamwork, right? So, I'm keeping mobile. I'm trying to uh, get as many shots in as I can. If they come in, I'm going to get him with a punch and then a punch, and bam, he's gone. I'm being fairly aggressive when I can with this unit because it does have the speed and flexibility to do so. So I see my team fighting over here. I'm going to come in, drop that in there. I'm going to punch him, but we're going to get smacked a little bit in the uh, process. Catch him with the head mounted Mega. And then we're going to come down here. Now, I kind of wasted a lot of time going after the Kshatriya when I'm really not the best option to go after that one. As you can see, there's a little bit of a uh, damage decrease on top of the, uh, the normal support damage decrease uh, you get with a, a general going after support. Um, but I'm, I'm going in there and getting that damage in. Our, um, our raid doesn't seem to uh, be too concerned about him, but we're going to help him out a little bit. Put a little bit of pressure on um, this uh, raid. Throw a little bit out there, uh, at least chip away at him a bit, and make him have to choose where and who he's going to deal with. So we're going to bring him down there, he's going to get taken out, uh, we didn't quite get the, uh, the shot on him. We're going to throw those out, use the cover a little bit. One thing I think is invaluable to do is to keep moving this unit. Now, I see that there is a support fire, so I'm going to try to uh, keep them lured in there by having me to shoot at, at low health. And bam, he got caught. And he's gone, but we're going to put one in his legs just to be sure. And I see someone fighting down here, so I'm going to come down and here I am wasting time in the uh, Kasatria again. <laughs> we're just going to keep firing at him, uh, keeping the pressure up. I'm too tempting of a target for them not to care a little bit about. Um, because I'm so low health, they could evaporate me. They come in, give them a few big smacks in the face for justice. Or something, I don't know. Charger of this. I'm not sure justice was on the menu. We're going to get those in there, get a destruction assist. I see uh, their raid going after something, so I'm going to throw... Uh, some shots in on him. Gonna push with the head mounted particle. And I'm gonna take some shots. I'm pretty low. So I'm just gonna charge the, the waist. We're gonna use this as an opportunity to take him out. Then we're gonna shift over to help five, who's being very aggressive at the moment. But we see this going on, so we're gonna put some pressure on the high noon. And he's gonna be gone. And at 500 health, we're gonna come in throw some more out there. If we could just get enough damage, there we go, we've done enough to justify our eventual death. Alright, now this unit can still put out the damage. This was a 700 cost uh, match. It's just, uh, it's a little trickier, especially with all the tools that are out there. We're going to push forward, catch him with the side swing and then the down swing, accidentally hit our guy, come in, give him a little bit more of the smacky smack. This is not a unit monster, or a melee monster, just so you know. And we get taken out at the two minute mark, nice. So we're gonna spawn in at C after we recovered from getting diamond cuttered. And we're gonna switch over to the, uh, the waste. We're gonna take a shot that I probably shouldn't have wasted the time on, miss. And we're gonna redirect. We see them having a bit of a fight there, but we're gonna not get anything in there. Should've used the normal um, finger cannons effectively. 
We're going to put pressure on their raid though. We're going to let our guys get in there and get aggressive. Well, we're effectively doing what we can here. Our support, I, I don't know why he didn't turn on their, our support and get him. He could have easily done that. But hey, our support is a uh, supreme giga chat apparently. And uh, we're going to come over here, charge up the... Uh, the wisp, uh, the uh, ma double mega, oof, tripping over my words, gonna drop that into him, we're gonna keep pushing, even though I'm not a melee monster, uh, pushing, it makes them have to pick what they're gonna deal with, and I got a lot of health, so we're gonna do a little bit of damage there, rotate through our weapon, we're gonna catch him there, take him out, turn again, and we're gonna take a bit of a shot from the high noon, we're gonna avoid those that support, put a little bit of that in there, come in, smack him, but he's going to push out. And we're going to fire that off, but it's not going to have time to do anything. And we see their uh, raid, so we're going to push on him a little bit. Nope. Yep. We're going to go after him. We fought about the Kshatra, but hey, raid, right? And we're going to push on the raid. We're going to fire our stuff off. Uh, unfortunately, he decided to try to out-bundle us, which was not a smartest move come in help get rid of him and we see um the sentinel gundam i believe and we're gonna take a shot and time is out let's see how we did everybody i do not know what to say about the unit's pose one spot on the board okay and fourth place thanks for joining me Bye bye